Happy Wednesday, Flosstube. My name is Laura, and I'd like to welcome you to Stitching by the Shore, my channel all about cross stitch with a little bit of paper crafting thrown into. Today is an extra video. So if you are new, this is not my extra, my regular format and my regular videos for cross stitching. I try my very best to film on every Friday and then I try my very best to get it uploaded to you on Friday. Anytime there's a problem or a change in the schedule, I will let you know. But for the most part, that seems to work well, and you are always welcome to hang out with us on the from the, with those videos, whether it's on Friday or any other day, and uh, join us in our love of stitching. But you are also welcome, if you are intrigued by artist trading cards, or just want to know more about it, to join us here as well. So welcome here too. So this is our the official announcement of our 2024 Fall Artist Trading Card Swap and the theme. Before I do that, I just want to do a quick explanation. I know so many of you know what they are because you've participated or you've hung out with me and watched the videos over the last year and a half, two, I guess. When I first started this, we were just swapping one to one, right? If somebody made one and uh, and I'm always, if, if, if you would like to try that and you're a little bit afraid to do the swap, let me know. I'm always happy to do a one-to-one -one swap actually with you. I have some cards actually made that are always ready for swaps. So that's always an option. But if you want to join in on the front, the fun of the entire swap, you are always welcome to do that. So what's an artist trading card? An artist trading card, they were started in the late 1990s, I believe. And they are basically a little tiny work of art that is any type of medium that you would like. So for example, this is the blank. And the rule is, there's two rules. It has to be two and a half by three and a half inches. And artist trading cards are made to be swapped, not sold. If you'd like to sell your little pieces of art, they are called ACEOs. And if you look on places like Etsy, there are some available to buy if you are interested in something like that or doing that yourself. So that's the, that's the size. For us, we like to use the medium of cross stitch because we are cross stitchers. You know that I'm also a paper crafter and so I happen to put in sometimes some paper crafting techniques. If you are somebody who likes to add some sort of like tiny little sewing or quilting or whatever type of medium you would like to do, you're more than welcome. I wanted to show you in the last swap, these were the two that came in that I ended up receiving. Aren't they so beautiful? The theme was summer. So you can see the variety there that I received. And what's really, really nice is you can stitch on any size. You just make sure that your pattern adapts to two and a half to three and a half inches. So you don't have to stitch on a 40 count or a 14 count. You stitch on whatever is comfort for you and something that you enjoy. Okay, so that's, in a nutshell, that's an artist trading card. If you go to my playlists, I do have an entire playlist on trading cards, and I have videos on a little bit more in-depth what they are. I have videos where I create with you a trading card and finish it, and I have videos from my previous swaps where I do show and tells, because sometimes I think the most, for uh, my stitching friends here, they're most intimidated by the finishing part, and I have to tell you, you are also creative. I know you can do it. So don't let that be the, the little thing that keeps you of maybe afraid of doing it. If you watch those videos, you will see such a wide variety of finishing and beautiful ideas. And I have just enjoyed it. And I think everybody else who has participated has enjoyed creating those little works of art as well. So check out the playlist. You are always welcome to ask questions. Besides that, I may have forgotten something or maybe I said it, but you may not have heard it at that moment in time. You know, somebody interrupted you while you're watching the video or whatever it happened to be. So you're always welcome to ask questions. Please feel free to do so. Okay, are we ready? What's the theme? The theme is things with wings. So I was trying to do a little ideas in my head of what may or may not work. And so I wrote some down in case you needed some more ideas. And I want you, if you think of other things, put them in the comments down below. So this way other people say, oh, I didn't even think of that. But I came up with birds, bees, bats, butterflies. It became a game to see how many I could do that were starting with the letter B. Uh, dragons, dragonflies, 
fairies, airplanes have wings. And that's where I got stuck. I didn't have any more after that. So if you have any more besides those, put them in the description but or in your comment and uh, we can all share that information. But that's just some ideas um, how you incorporate any of those things with wings into your pad or into your trading card is totally up to you. Whether you have it completely focused on just one thing with a wing, maybe there's multiples, maybe there's parts of a stitch with things with wings. It is really up to you and your creativity when it comes to that. So these, I try to keep them so that you can just let the creative juices flow. Okay, so what are the particulars? So I'd ask you to mail how many, however many you do. I've had people that mail one. I've had people that mail 10. Um, you mail them by August 1st, please. Uh, not August 1st. It's past August 1st. October 1st. So that gives you just under two months to stitch and create your trading card. So please mail them by October 1st. If possible, if you could mail them with a self-addressed stamped envelope, I would really appreciate it. If you are international, and I know your stamps don't work the same as then I will, because I'm mailing back to you, I know that international people sometimes have sent me a little bit of postage on from PayPal. Um, and so that's a perfectly acceptable option. You know, we can figure out how much it would cost. I don't want to overcharge you on anything. Um, please think about if you have six trading cards, if you send me one envelope, it may be very difficult for me to um, get them in safely. And the bumpier the things are, sometimes the machines don't like them. There is a specific stamp that you can buy from the post office. It's a little bit more expensive than the regular postage, which has just gone up. Um, and that is supposed to signify non-machinable. And so that way they're supposed to do them all by hand. Um, some people, if they send multiples, say they send three, they will send three self-addressed stamped envelopes and each one goes into a separate envelope and they, they wing their way back to you that way. Um, the post office sometimes is slow, but for the most part, most of the time, people do receive them. Sometimes it takes a long time. There was one that got lost to me in the last swap, which was a first, and I'm so sad about that. But for the most part, the post office does get them to you. Just think about, I do put them in a piece of cardstock, but if you're doing multiples in a small envelope, there's only so much I can do to protect it. So just think about those types of things when you're sending the self-addressed. Now, if you forget, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Um, I know it happens. You get excited, you mail everything off, and then you think, oh boy, I forgot the envelopes. No worries. Also, if you would like to participate, and right now maybe money is a little bit tight and postage is a little expensive, please, please don't let that be a stopping point for you. I will help you out and I will send them to you regardless. So I really want this to be open to everybody to enjoy and to have fun with. So don't let that if that's the only thing stopping you, don't let that stop you. I really want you to be a part of this. Um, other than that, I will, now this is an ish because, you know, I have to get to the post office with them, but I will do my best around November 1st. I give it a month for them to come to me. And if, for example, you don't get it mailed to October 4th, just let me know so I can keep an eye out for it. But that's not, you know, I mean, the deadline comes and then you're kind of like, Oh, I've missed it. I can't do it. No, you can still do it. Around November 1st-ish, I will send whatever your swaps are back to you. At the very end, before I do that, I will do a show and tell video because those are so much fun. So that will be something to look forward to. Um, and I do, I, I get everything ready. And that's where I have to go to the post office, usually with this big box. And I found a the other post office, the first one I went to, they weren't... They were helpful then they weren't but this one i they're so nice there so hopefully i will go back to that one um which is a little bit farther away from me but it's worth it you all are worth it and i bring my big box and they help me figure out the internationals and they help me figure out is this 
need extra postage or is it going to be safe? That is the big thing I look at with them. And um, depending on how more how experienced the person at the post office is, the closer we get to making sure everything gets to you safely. So I think that's pretty much it. Things with wings, two and a half by three and a half, mail by October 1st, self-addressed stamped envelope if you can, and I will mail back some point in the first you know, few days of November. And if it is a slightly longer, life happens with me just as it does with you, I will always let you know um, that it's coming a little bit late, but they will come. I, They've always made it and gone out, I promise on that one. Um, so I think that's it. If you have any other questions, if I've forgotten, these are my, my, <laughs> my such as my notes are, but those are my notes. Um, I think I, you know, I, I looked for my a previous video's notes and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to save these. And then if I have questions, I'll put that so that next time we do a swap, <laughs> I may remember to answer everything. Oh, I know I brought out. So this is my stitching scrapbook. I know many of you have seen the flip throughs and so on and so forth. And, Cause you're wondering, well, what do I do with the trading cards? Well, what I have done is I have bought, for example, their baseball, they're basically the size of baseball cards. So or I believe Pokemon Go and all of those are also the same size. So I buy a set of those. I put in my trading cards. I only do a single side so I can see who they're from. Oh, that's the other thing. At the minimum, put your name on the back of it so that uh, we know who sent them, who created that beautiful work of art. Everything else, whether you want to put the date, the swap theme, a title to your, sometimes they are titled, um, the information about where it came from, the little pattern, if you picked it from something. Any of that is really up to you, um, but please put your name. If you forget, that's okay, because I will put your name for you. Okay, there's gonna be a quick clip. Um, but uh, if you can remember, just put the name and then everything else is really, uh, sometimes there are labels that you can get online. Um, that give you like artist trading card info that you can do. So really do what feels comfortable for you with that. Okay, I'm so glad I looked at these because I would have forgotten to tell you what goes on the back. I think that's I think that's really it now. So I am going to sign off. I am busy stitching the Olympics and I am so excited with today's stitch. I am obsessed with it this week. And if you come on Friday's video, you will see some stitching progress on it. Okay, so until next time, happy stitching.